Well, summer is still a few months away, but it's a good time to consider how your children should be spending it. And of course, what better way than helping the environment? That's what Kupu does for their summer conservation program. With more, we have program coordinator Keppa Barrett and Garrett McRoberts, an alum from the program. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So Kupu's offering this free program, and I've heard about it and talked about others who have joined the program. Tell us more about what kind of opportunities they'll gain. Yeah, so Kupu is actually offering our Hawaii Youth Conservation Corps program, and it's a summer program otherwise known as HYC. Mm -hmm. It's a seven-week opportunity where our participants get to um, have an opportunity to gain hands-on conservation experience and they also get a chance to get monetary benefits for school as well as a chance to gain three credits from UH Manoa's Natural Resources Environmental Management Program and it's a chance for them to do something different with their summer. So they get credit for this as well. That's yes. awesome. What type of applicants are you looking for? Because I'm sure a lot of people would benefit from this and are interested. Yeah, so we actually are looking for, um, in Kupu's HYCC program, there's two different positions. So we're looking for team members and team leaders. Team members are ages 17 to 20, and team leaders are actually um, those who are 21 years and older. And basically what they expect to be doing for the summer is a really immersive conservation experience. So they're going to be doing work like trail maintenance, invasive species removal, um, native species outplanting and stuff like that. Um, and they're going to be able to work in some of the most beautiful and remote places in Hawaii. Um, and really it's a chance for them to do com something completely different uh, with what they normally do during the summer. Nothing that you'll find learning in a textbook. It's about really hands-on learning yes, here. absolutely. Garrett, you participated in Kupu's program. Tell us what you experienced and what you learned. Yeah, in my Kupu experience, I worked in a native plant nursery mm -hmm. um, with the Department of Land and Natural Resources. So I got to work with all these native plants, got to learn a lot of the importance of them, um, and also just how to grow them and, um, you know, put them back into the forest. Mm -hmm. um, we actually have some plants here today. We have this beautiful yellow hia mm -hmm. and um, some koa saplings right here. Uh, these plants are very important to conserve because they actually hold a lot of water for us. Um, so. Once the water is absorbed, it goes into our aquifers, so it's basically our drinking water. Mm -hmm. And actually, um, I, I went on a hike yesterday, and I uh, brought an invasive species, uh, which is known as strawberry guava. Mm -hmm. And the difference between, say, our native plants versus this invasive plant is the bark as well as the roots don't hold as much water. Oh. So they actually pose a threat to our watershed, and it directly affects the drinking water that we all benefit from in Hawaii. So what do you teach the applicants or the participants when you come across something like that in your hiking trail? What do you do? Well, it's really important, first and foremost, to be able to decontaminate the shoes that you're wearing and the um, gear that you're using to hike because one thing that um, we do actually, and we, we don't think about it, is mm -hmm. we actually spread a lot of these invasive species around without knowing. And so number one is to be able to decontaminate your gear and also just to be mindful of the fact that these native species are incredibly important. And just mm -hmm. to get the word out there, really education is the best um, form to be able to actually combat these invasive species. And Garrett, if you could pick one highlight from your experience, what would you say it was? Um, well, during my Kupu experience, the, probably my biggest highlight was we got to camp out at Pomoho. It's on a, uh, this island by Wahiwa. Mm -hmm. um, so we hiked up to the summit um, doing trail maintenance on the way. Um, and it's through this really pristine native forest. The view at the top is amazing. You can see it's, all of the east side of the great. island. <laughs> in great. my opinion, the best view on the island. Yeah. Um, but other than that, um, I actually got hired on after um, with Nala Hele. So I get to work wow. on the trails here uh, in the state. Um, and without Kupu, it, I probably wouldn't be where I'm at today. So I'm very thankful for Kupu. Yeah. And so how can someone apply for this program? Yeah, so our online application is available on our website, mm -hmm. www.kupuhawaii, that's K-U-P-U Hawaii, dot org backslash programs. The deadline for our summer program is next week, Wednesday, February 28th. Okay, so they have one more week to apply, and of course we'll have that information on our website, um, khon2.com. Thank you both for being here. Very important program, and very lucky for all the participants, like Garrett, who have been included. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for Thank having you. us. Thank you for having us.